Hey, Survivor. Welcome to episode 95 of the Vibrant Survivor podcast. In this episode, you'll learn three healthy ways to find joy after narcissistic abuse. What? But first, let's self-regulate with a 448 breathing exercise, if you'd like. We'll inhale for four, hold for four, and exhale for eight. Ready? Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do you notice in your body? Grab your notebook and pen and let's dig in. Hey, Survivor. Welcome to the Vibrant Survivor Podcast. Do you want to disconnect from a narcissistic or toxic situation and heal? Are you Googling how to identify a narcissist, narcissistic abuse, and boundaries? Are you feeling stressed and lonely while trying to avoid being sucked back in and lied to again? Hey, I'm Leslie. As a busy wife and mom, I fell for the lies and manipulations of narcissists. I wasted my time, talents, and money on users who kept moving the goalposts. I wanted real relationships and business opportunities and to enjoy life with my family. Instead, I struggled with anxiety, panic attacks, and insomnia, and I couldn't trust my body or anybody until I took a holistic approach to healing. In this podcast, you'll find tips for healthy living, trauma healing, and boundaries so that you'll have the freedom, confidence, and inner peace to respond, not react, after narcissistic abuse. Take a deep breath in, let it out slowly, and just relax. This time's for you. Hey, Survivor. Do you want to heal after narcissistic abuse? Come and join me in a closure coaching session. This is a one-hour, one-on-one coaching call that's going to help you disconnect from dysfunction, create your own closure, and begin a long-lasting journey of healing, step-by-step. Head right now to ClosureCoachingSession.com. Narcissistic abuse is no laughing matter or something to be taken lightly. And I am definitely not about toxic positivity either. You've got to feel to heal. And I remember feeling lonely, stuck, afraid, depressed, angry, ashamed. And I didn't think I'd ever get past the hypervigilance and hyperventilation that I experienced after narcissistic and toxic relationships. But I did by connecting with myself and connecting with others. And I'm still doing this even today. In fact, I just got back from a plant-based nutrition healthcare conference, and I got to spend time with friends, old and new, before, during, and after the conference. And so much great information was shared. So many gems and just a good time with good people. My heart is full and my head's about to explode. I guess you could say I enjoyed my time. Here are three healthy ways to find joy after narcissistic abuse. Number one, find your tribe. Community matters. So surround yourself with healthy people who care about your well-being. Healing often takes place in safe, supportive, trustworthy environments and relationships where you can share your hearts and resources, like I did before, during, and after this conference that I just returned from. You can connect with trusted friends, support groups, and professionals who are focused on healing. Number two, boost your mood with food. What you eat can affect your mood, yes. The mind-body connection is very, very powerful. And you should make it your goal and mission to eat real nutrient-dense foods that help to improve blood flow, reduce stress, anxiety, inflammation, like omega-3s, antioxidant-rich fruits like berries, antioxidant-rich vegetables like greens, and a variety of nuts. And even the act of adding these to your home-cooked meal 
that you make for yourself with love or maybe your order at a restaurant is a form of self-care that will heal your brain and boost your mood. Try it. Number three, help others. Practice doing good by helping someone get happier or healthier in life. This makes you feel good, aka get a helper's high, and it turns up your happy hormones and gives you a sense of purpose and helps to build community. And there's healing power in community. See how this works? You can listen to a friend, share vulnerably from your own heart, your own life, offer support or resources, drop some gems, volunteer, enhance other people's lives and notice how that feels when you do that. It can even help you to have some aha moments and connect some dots about your own situation. It's a win-win. Let's recap three healthy ways to find joy after narcissistic abuse. Number one, find your tribe. Number two, boost your mood with food. And number three, help others. Remember, finding joy after narcissistic abuse isn't about forgetting what has happened to you, but focusing on what can happen for you. Thanks for tuning in, Survivor. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Take care, and I'll talk to you soon. If this podcast has helped you understand who and what you're dealing with, sharpen your discernment, and move forward on your healing journey, share it with another survivor. Help me help others by leaving a review for the show. And let's connect on social. Take a screenshot, share it in your IG stories, find and tag me at The Vibrant Survivor, and I'll share your post too. I look forward to connecting with you on IG and seeing you back here. You're not alone and you're not crazy. Know who you're dealing with, know who you are. Take care and I'll meet you back here next week. Bye-bye.